Portfolio Reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's weekly video is in another purchase that I did from Worldwide Corals, my first aqua. It's called a green slimer. I found out that these corals are not as sensitive as other aquas. So I did a little research on it. If you follow me, you know, I go ahead and do a basic research on each coral and I pass it along to all of you out there. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's take a deep dive. Okay, and here we are in front of the coral. And this is what I found out. Of course, uh, green slimer is an acro. And acros uh, sometimes are also called sticks. Because if you look at all the acroporas, they actually look like little sticks protruding from the uh, base. Of course, uh, this is what they call, of course, a uh, short polyp stony coral better known, as all of us know, as SPS corals. Now, being an Acropora coral, uh, that alerts all of us hobbyists the challenging that curtails, uh, which actually would be the main consideration in keeping Acroporas. But yet, the green slimer is not as sensitive to water changes as others. So that makes it more appealing for somebody like me that is, uh, you know, want to explore uh, the beginning of introducing acros into my uh, reef system. Now, when it comes to the location, uh, I mean, this is actually uh, aquaculture, it's a frag, but the actual mother, the mother uh, colony, uh, these corals come from Indo Pacific. Uh, now, the Indo Pacific region, when I say that, I'm including, like, let's say, the Fiji Islands, the Tonga, the Solomon Islands, and the Great Barrier Reef. When it comes to lighting, uh, these coral, like most of all the acros, uh, they need moderate to strong lighting. Uh, also noted is that depending on the lighting, uh, you would notice uh, color changes. Uh, and then uh, the next thing, uh, the water flow. Well, as known when it comes to acros and SPS in general, like Montiporos and all that, uh, you do need strong water flow. Uh, which will benefit all these types of corals. And then comes the topic of feeding. Acropora rely uh, to a large extent on the product of Susanteli. Now, however, target feeding would benefit these types of corals. Um, one thing that I found out is uh, frozen fish foods and coral foods like reef roids or rotifer based foods with vitamin additives and things like amino acids, which is what I actually introduced to this tank, would also uh, benefit this type of coral. Uh, another important uh, thing that I noticed is the calcium and alkalinity. Uh, those both should be kept in check at a steady level, avoiding swings, considering that as they grow, or you acquire more uh, aquaporous, of course, they are going to consume calcium, so then uh, th the demands will go up, so then you have to be checking, uh, and of course you would increase your calcium and alkalinity. Now, uh, aquaporous uh, should be introduced at least, I'd say, at a one-year mark when it comes to your uh, tank. Uh, why? Because uh, research that have been done on many, many reef uh, aquariums and all that, uh, they have come up that uh, when it comes to the stability that you will find in your parameters and your biological uh, bacteria, the target um, span is actually around one year. Uh, that's when what they also say that your reef has reached, shall we call it, maturity. The, the water is more mature, is uh, stable, and the reef as a whole has uh, acquired more stability. So that is actually the uh, right and proper time to start to uh, introduce uh, any type of aquaporous uh, to your reef tank. And due to the challenges presented in keeping uh, aquaporous, or how they call them, sticks, uh, these type of corals are recommended not for uh, beginner's hobbyists, but either for intermediate or advanced hobbyists. And why do I say this? 
because of the uh, constant monitoring that uh, you have to be checking. These uh, corals are very sensitive to uh, swings in pH and alkalinity and uh, calcium. Well, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on the green slimer. Uh, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, next to the uh, subscription button, there's a little bell. Go ahead and hit that. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.